Good morning. My name is Tiffany McKenzie, and I'm an attorney with Berardi Immigration Law. Today is August 3rd, and I am going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Arrive Can app to enter Canada. Keep in mind that as of today, vaccinated Americans who are entering Canada for non-essential purposes are not yet able to follow the steps and enter Canada. However, those rules will change next Monday, so we will be back and show you how to finish the steps next Monday. We're going to show you step by step on my phone, so let's get started. So on my phone, we have the Arrive Can app open and ready to go. Before you get to the screen that you will be seeing on my phone right now, where I'm about to hit start, definitely make sure that you have set up an account beforehand. So it'll ask you for an email address, it'll ask you to create a password, and then the Government of Canada will email you a verification code. Once those steps are done, then you will definitely see the screen that is currently on my phone. So we're going to hit start. And it's going to ask, how are you entering into Canada? For these purposes, we're going to hit land uh, because right now with the hotel quarantine, that might cause some issues with, uh, with this step-by-step. -step. So on our next step, it's going to ask for the port of entry. I can only select a date within the next 72 hours. So we're gonna to hit tomorrow. And obviously since we're in the Buffalo area, we will choose one of the ports of entry that is within the area. So for port of entry, I am typing in, I can't type, but we are going to type in the Peace Bridge. And for date of arrival, we're going to select tomorrow. And we're going to hit the arrow. Is your travel, now the next step is, is your travel related to any of the following travel purposes? As I'm a Canadian citizen, I'm going to hit no in this case. On our next screen, it asks, what is the purpose of your travel? Again, as I'm a Canadian citizen, I will be hitting returning to Canada. But as you'll see on the screen, there are several options. There's returning to Canada, family reunification, foreign worker, study, study for a US-Canada cross-border student in compassionate grounds, or none of the above. If you think that you fall into one of these categories, definitely reach out and ask for further clarification, but obviously keep in mind next week, this might actually change. So we're gonna click return to Canada and then register your travel document. Now, again, as I'm a Canadian citizen, I have my Canadian passport, but there are other options here as well. Nexus card, permanent resident card, all sorts of different entry items. And we're gonna hit the next screen. At this point, it's going to ask for my contact information. Obviously, put in your own contact information at this part. Perfect. Have you received a COVID-19 vaccine? Now, right now, in order to enter Canada to avoid the 14-day quarantine as a Canadian citizen, I'm allowed to enter in my information of my COVID-19 vaccine. When the time comes next week, everybody else will be able to put in their information. Now, as a little refresher, in order for this to work in terms of entering Canada, it has to be a vaccine. So you've received more than 14 days ago, and it has to be one of the vaccines that is authorized for Canada. So that's the Pfizer vaccine, the AstraZeneca vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So we're going to click yes. And now it's going to ask which COVID vaccine dose I received. So we're gonna hit Pfizer. And I received mine in, oops, and I received mine in Canada. So for now, that's really as far as the app is going to let me go. Um, I don't have a negative COVID-19 test, so I'm not able to put that in. But as you keep following the steps along, it's then going to prompt you in order to, to finish that and put in the date of your test, which again, as a reminder, has to be within seven, it has to be within 72 hours of your entry to Canada. Once you're done, it's then going to submit a confirmation code and you're able to take that code with you and CBSA will be able to validate the information that is on your phone. So again, this is a step-by-step -step guide. Uh, we will be back next week in order to show you the rest of the step-by-step. -step. If you're somebody like a U.S. citizen or permanent resident who's going to be entering Canada for non-essential purposes. But for now, this should give you a bit of a flavor of what the, the app looks like and definitely give you an opportunity to troubleshoot any questions or concerns that you might have. We are obviously here. Um, we use the this app all the time, every day. So please reach out if you have any questions 
And thank you, thank you for watching. And we will show you more and more as the app continues to evolve.